thing on this to you. You see the ears? They are not ears coming behind the head. Falling endoplasmic reticulum. Here you produce and the face is the first bird jar on the bio machine. Very clever, ingenious people. The drops of the elixir coming from the sun. Here they're actually showing the drops, the drops of light, as I reproduced it. My cosmic bio machines. My machine built exactly as the chlorophyll. Substrates and super lattice. Sacred geometry, having access to free energy. and photosynthesizing water and CO2 to produce food for the world. My Sumerian plants in an old Sumerian ways. All the life that look like just taking off from the Sumerian seals. In search for the truth. This one, two, or three millimeters or centimeters or a half inch or a inch little seals has been enlarged tremendously to find out the truth. life process and protein in those wings that lacks in the Assyrians artwork. Only Sumerians knew how. No one knew the secret. Of course, you see all the horns with different kinds of meanings. And the seed of life in his hand that He's picking them. And they were a unique basket. These are spermatozoa and germinal cells produced from resurrected material. The genetic material has been dispersed four years ago and dried. And within hours it cooled in the elixir and brought the life back. in full force. And this is the cosmic bio machine that is responding. Matching the Sumerians. What they had in mind. Life from the sun. The hardware of life, the seed of life, and the elixir of life, the essence of life, originates in the sun. Sun, suns and stars, holding the breath of God. And this is the way I was racing in the months, working 18 hours a day, seven days a week, to get this information to you and get the truth to the world. Thank you. Capture from part two of Summertack. 
The cosmos is filled with life forces, graded from neutrinos, structured up in secret cosmic geometry, generated from the galactical system draws on the cosmos to generate mass and gravity of which is recycling continue to the cosmos. Always in stable configuration pre-expansion. The shrine of God with the seed of life, the prehistoric Sumerian seal. Talking about this in Summer Tech Part 2. And this is the one that has been replicated alive once again he returned from prehistoric time but how did I get this far well let's go back and re-examine happenings when the force of life has been created as you recall in the last video, I was discussing the Big Bang and the gravitational wave and receptance generated from the gravitational flow. 51 gravitational wave is equals 1 graviton. And 51 graviton is equals 1 photon. But 1 photon divided by 3 is equal to 17, 16 plus 1. 8 gravitational wave is equal to neutrino. Neutrino equals to the force of life. Reading into 32 waveforms. The wave crest was your life force plus square plus 4 square will result in an equilibrium condition. Hence, for spin and for anti-spin interlock, and the wave in the intensity would be equal to zero, neutralizing and becoming a neutrino. Lacking nuclear well interlocking to form the Sumerian star. For one photon, we need 51 graviton. Therefore, we must convert neutral from the force of life into gravitons. We are nucleus formed by hyperdimensional interference. So six times eight gravitational waves, neutrinos plus one to get the conversion, the intense times six plus one, plunging the six waves through the seventh in the center, forming an implosion in the nucleus. And that's how energy is compressed into matter, building mass and gravity. This is the proper position, as we see from the proper position this is not a cobra, but the head of a goat with the horn, the symbol of life, and sacred geometry. This unknown piece is Sumerian and the possibility that it came out from Atlantis. We must realize that with such an orderly system, we invoke the cosmic geometry with highly ordered hyperdimensional interference, ordering all subnuclear structure into superlattice in lockstep. Since this is the cosmic order, with the exception of the galactical system, free flow of energy will be mandatory. In a super lattice, the oscillation of the waves and the particles will interlock 
and stable, removing the roadblock and eligible free flow. In ordinary matter, the chaotic interference setting up roadblocks due to uncontrolled action that restricting energy flow, setting up resistance while in cosmic order, receptance will follow. One builds mass and gravity and the other massless energy, commanding anti-gravity. This system, by the way, keeps the universe in balance. Now we know the criteria for superconductivity so we can step into the cosmic world and listen to the hum, the physics of the 21st century. The higher order of life resulted from the force of life coming into existence from the breath of Creator at the instant of the Big Bang and filled the whole cosmos with it. The original Sumerian seal depicts the wave interference with spin and anti-spin neutralizing the spinning of the waves and resulting in neutrino. The seed of the cosmos that further braids into the force of life in cosmic sacred order. By the way, what you see here are cosmic life form in sacred geometry. To attain such a life form, one must put all genetic substance into cosmic order. When the electrons and amino acids, they order themselves in place. Proteins synthesized from such amino acids will attain super lattice and energy will be flowing. Nucleotides in a high purity will also assume the super lattice. And this is what you see here, the anti-gravitation rings and the seed of life above it, alive. When God created life, the protein carried his blueprint of life delivering the energy and labor. Protein is the key to long, healthy life and longevity. When both protein and nucleotides are in super lattice, resulting in cosmic life form. Such life form resumes the sacred geometry, interlocking all genetic substances, fusing into one unit, following the cosmic order and becoming unified like the universe or the life of force or the cosmos. Since stars, the galactical system draw on the sacred source of neutrino from the cosmos, supplying the energy to build mass and gravity. Our sun has ample supply of it. The Sumerians we're telling it to that life originating from the sun, as it's depicted on this Sumerian seal, showing that life is coming from the sun, symbolizing with her breast full of life. But above has been replicated what was found on the Sumerian seal.
Sumerians were called the gods of the God. They descended on earth to evolve the force, documenting it. And this micro masterpiece revealed first time that a high magnification, this piece must originate from Atlantis. As you know, the Sumerians established Atlantis and destroyed them when they misused the sun attack, the Sumerian technology. This is the end piece, highly magnified, which depicts detailed structure of spermatozoa, spermatogonia with proteins, genetic material DNA, centriol, and of course the different races. Is it dark women? Yes, um, Is another one. And of course, all the genetic material and the force of life on a microscopic engraving using anti-gravitational technique. Here's a Sumerian seal showing the production synthetically spermatozoa. And of course, the cell membrane with lipids. Atlanteans inseminated the women artificially. And they used the high-tech biophysics and birth control. The technique was to let the male testes to produce ovum instead of spermatozoa. These figures are perfect in a sub-microscopic settings. It's a wave interference of six waves plunging through the seventh in the center depicting sacred geometry. And here the force of life interact representing the Sumerians which I found in the historic seal. and reconstructed here. But these subunits build the life force depicted in this prehistoric Sumerian seal, indicating that all life forms originate from the force of life. First order is sacred geometry that automatically resulting in superconductivity in the anti gravitational field. Therefore, genetic materials such as proteins and nucleotides put into sacred geometry, super lattice, is shown in these really magnified. That, of course, will open up the way the higher order of life. As it's shown here.
kinetic material in superlattice. Secret geometrical order. The first step was to discover life crystal. But what is life crystal? Take a look at this chlorophyll, the nature's super engine. Taking the energy from the sun and synthesizing glucose and CO2 and water via this. And this is life crystal. The same as chlorophyll, except is 100,000 times bigger. In this the energy from the sun and producing nucleotides and food from CO2 just like the plants do using the sun just is depicted on the Sumerian seal except this is real. The discovery of life crystal that is in times bigger than chlorophyll is used in photosynthetic process to produce highly nutritional, valuable food supplements. During purification, I discovered that life crystal can be arranged in ice. But electrons in superlattice mean superconductivity, levitation, and of course, the free flow of life energy. Nobody in the world really know what superconductivity is and how it works. But thanks to life crystal, that now has been cleared up. Cleared up and opened up the door to the physics of the 21st century. It brought with it crisis. One of the surprises was that life crystal in superlattice came alive, grown its famous horn of the endoplasmic folding reticulum, as the Sumerians showed on the seals, and began protein synthesis and self-replication, and the Sumerians knew about this, and they depicting it in almost every one of their seals. As you will see later on, I broke the code of the picture writings and stepped across the threshold of the cosmos and bringing home a technology men could never dream of. But having now proteins and nucleotides in superlattice, stepping across the threshold of the cosmos, I began to synthesize multi-strain and open field genetic materials, resulting in the birth of the cosmic biomachines, first in a hologram and shortly after in reality. But so came into existence some attack research in Corporation of Texas. Here a life crystal put into superlattice and came alive and begin to produce the endoplasmic reticulum and production of proteins began. And this is one of a typical horn the Sumerians depict on this seal. The folding endoplasmic reticulum. Just like a fetus. First, 
Life is the revealed, the bio machine to me via hologram. I was stunned, and the hard work began. Badly needed. The proteins and nucleotides in superlattice. And these horns, as the Sumerians depicting it on their seals, I successfully reproduced, as shown here. No doubt about it. And here, in the alive, life in sacred geometry out of the cosmos. And I begin to assemble the first machines from nucleotides and proteins in sacred geometry. Neatly in superlattice that automatically allows the free flow of energy and the force of life. The end result is the birth of the miracle machine, the cosmic machine. This was the first one. These bio machines capture the life force from the sun just as the Sumerians were telling it, producing the Sumerian elixir, the essence of life, that made it possible to replicate the power of cross and the Sumerian incubators to produce super protein and super nucleotides needed to verify the Sumerian physics and technology depicted on the historical documentary, mainly prehistoric, some in Victoria and on fifth and prehistoric seals, many of them originating from Atlantis, that I proved it and I can document it. The Sumerian plants produced the black protein that needed for the project depicted on the Sumerian seals, called the Boat of Life. This is secret water in tetrahedral structure, essential for biological life formation. Obtaining the elixir opened the way to sacred water that is needed for the discovery of cosmic life. So the work began to replicate the shrine of God with the seed of life that I magnified from the original, Sumerian original, that was taken from a prehistoric seal. I say the work began, yes, 18, 20 hours a day, seven days a week, for 10 full months, and it paid off. The shrine of God no longer buried in the past. It has been replicated as the Sumerian seal was depicting it alive and producing the seed of life, alive. The cosmic life form, based on sacred geometry, three-dimensional life forms, as it has been depicted so many times, but no one understood it. 7,000 years ago, representing life, teaching the deepest, most important 
physics of the cosmos telling us that life originates from the sun and bio machine hidden in the face and the armor represents life as the seed of life reaching out from the sun. The avalanche began. So I reproduced most of the characters from the Sumerian seals and picture writing and the secret of code of the Sumerian language slowly giving away. I'm grateful to God that he has chosen me for this gigantic task, whatever the reason, to unravel this lost treasure that may turn out to be our passport to the future. Brother Sumerian, is the is one that came from a dissected pictures because each part of those pictures represent something else than what you see. Of course, it's also magnified to show the real meaning. And the real meaning, if you look at very closely here, and look at very closely here, it's a folding embryo that takes us to the synthetic ovum. As you know, in our creation, the water breaks twice. Once in the ovum, it's the bubble, and then when your mother gives you birth, and breaks the water. This is all in vitro, of course, with the aid of the shrine of God and the seed of life. Like a, a sex gland can grow either spermatozoa or ovum or even clone. This is a Sumerian one. This is a more ovums. Yeah. Ovums and spermatozoa together in vitro. This is a clone amongst the spermatozoa. Just folding. And here again, the combination culture. So we see lots of ovum and few spermatozoa. Now we know the eating the women and the animals. This is one of the eight words, the gods of God, the master of the God. Black protein producing plants, germinal cells and spermatozoa, cloning themselves in vitro. And these are the grown-ups releasing the cloned ones and the baby ones. But that's what the Sumerian seal is telling us about, which is probably Atlantean seal. From the head of the goat comes out the spermatozoa. The horn is the end of them. The head, the clothes have to be provided. They're depicting it in this picture. This is the heart of the seed of, of course, lots of protein everywhere. From life. That makes up his crown. Even the wings came out of the process. This is the blueprint of the biomachine. You can see the proteins, how it's being produced. And of course, lots of seed of life. And if you look at this beautiful house, just go to the roof. And you can see the same roof is on the blueprint. And the roof contains a nucleotide. The house, nucleotides and genetic material 
and lots of proteins. This is the seals, Sumerian seals. But it really represents my roof on the bio machine, the vortexes. And one of the vortex been replaced with fit, including the part of the heart of the machine from this picture. That machine, that face is the machine. That's the bear jar capturing the life force on. Sumerians came from our twin sun, which is invisible because it's made of dark matter in sacred geometry. It's transparent. And that's why all the technology in their system is anti-gravity. And all the work they did, all the equipment, is based on anti-gravity. And even destroying the Atlantis, they used anti-gravity to levitate the magma under the continent. It's on the sun, just like my machines capturing the elixir that producing these vortexes. Elixir is coming through the bell job. This looks to it. On every dress they wore, you could write a book of physics from electron spin interaction secret geometry, superlattice. The physics of the cosmos loudly screams from the pattern of all their dresses. And this is not the first time this plant been visited. These are the droplets of elixir, represents a shade depicting it. The regrow, the cytoplasm, the tail of this dog has been reproduced in vitro, here magnified between five to 10,000 times, producing the black proteins. He caught my attention, holding this strip over his head, like it would be its rim, but also in his hand, holding the protein strands in vitro. And here, the symbol of life is reproduced in vitro. In this picture, reproduced in vitro, in here, the Sumerian star. And these horns found over here. Notice the reverse position. They're producing proteins. Is the goddess of reproduction with her spermatozoas, and then of course the one over its head and the side that are reproduced in it. And this Sumerian puzzle is part of the engine machine. This we have seen a previous tape that has been reproduced alive of the reconstruction. But now I found new evidence on prehistoric plates leading to colossal knowledge of physics in a very primitive way. Now, how could people record what they had when they just lost the continent and become cavemen again. 
you find the same in prehistoric graves. Here they depicting the engine of the bio machine. More physics and more bio machines in sacred geometry. Through this pair of eyes they telling us that we see with our own eyes the genetic string on a microscopic level with the other microscope. How? If the eyes were in sacred geometry, they broke down the folds and rearranged them in super string photons, eliminating the wavelength and scan to see at molecular level. And this is how I have seen the same thing through the elixir that put the light beams into string photons like billions of laser beams. Everything on this picture must in be true, including the stars. Take a good look because you see the identical twins alive here, produced from the seed of life. The secret of their language has been broken, and now I can read these seals with enormous colossal knowledge in physics and mainly biophysics leading to the creation of life. These are young seed of life and that's the way genetic material in secret geometry fuses and grows. The message on this primitive paintings has been reproduced from protein and the story goes on like on these Sumerian seals these gadgets are not ingots but rather anti-gravitational devices And these are not energy flows and arrows, but reversing them and reassembling them. It's a plant that producing protein. And those are string of proteins. As shown on this seal, the basis of life in protein. A single black protein held in his hand is producing the string proteins and these are the plants magnified ones, producing the black proteins initially on this seal these are incubators proteins they are reproduced here here in vitro these two are incubators producing black proteins that's necessary to produce the seed of life. This is found at the Black Sea, the present in the St. Petersburg Museum in Russia. She is speaking black proteins that produced by this gadget. That's the engine of one of my bio machines. Here is the real one taken out of my bio machine. God, master of the gods, the god of the gods of life, who make the sun helpful to proclaim his glory. The wind too, producing proteins that really represent the cytoplasm here. that I reproduced. This set of earrings 
represents life because the reproduction of it producing the black protein which is now produced the seed of life as you see those are from the seed of life containing them that resurrects life that has been accomplished they enter into a cell or a living organism and resurrect it these are the Sumerian plants found in thousands of seals prehistoric seals they magnify between five to ten thousand times they all have one common characteristics they all producing black proteins black because it absorbs light and it's in secret structure the amino acids are in super in super lattice and the electrons are paired this is why they call them the board of life because it represents those plants protein producing plants and the board itself as well producing proteins and this is the boat that has been reproduced in vitro and you can see how it's producing the proteins some 50,000 Sumerian and Atlantean seals like this one testifies the importance of protein life is replicated here. This seal too, like all the others, stress that protein has the information to produce higher order of life. Take this little dog, for example, on a close-up. And see next to it, protein in sacred geometry. Identical. So is this. Proteins in secret geometry. Six plus one, the one in the middle. The basis of cosmic life. In this case, a nucleot rounded with six proteins. That is filling the nucleus of the seed of life that early in has been shown on the shrine of God. Even their dresses depict the process of life. Protein again from this seal is reproduced here, showing how the protein strength fabricated by the black protein. Here too, everything is protein. To begin with, the fish is a dietary supplement rich in protein. But right above, the Sumerian star 
made of protein. And he even sitting on a chair made of the seed of life. Protein, of course, showing how the blood producing the string proteins. And his hand, the seed of life. And this is my chair made of the seed of life, alive. Yes. This seal to the pig, the seed of life. And again, here is mine. As it fuses together. Even the reactors that produces the elixir is shown here with proteins in the seed of life. And this coming off from a Sumerian seal representing the process of life. The way the seed of life using together. Entire gravitational ring in the middle. The horns producing the protein and genetic material. And the machines producing the black protein. All is found in the center of my machine. But look at this engraving coming from beneath the pyramid in central Mexico depicts the life made of protein secret life and the process that located some 20 seals nothing to the free eyes but take a look at high magnification a micro engraving with a gravity. By controlling the electron spin and the intermolecular bonds to be able to liquefy rocks and metal at room temperature with the reproduction of the events. Like this one. And we got the plant that producing the seed of life. And the black protein producing the protein strengths in the seed of life. Proteins and nucleotides is essential to life. Here the seed of life is being produced from nucleotides and proteins filling the interior of the seed of life. Proteins, six plus one in super lattice that becomes the seed with the essential part of the seed of life. Be responsible to proliferate life and even resurrect delivering the energy and this is the region where it's being produced in the cosmic and the plasmic reticulum and they begin to assemble into the seed of life so it can be seen inside the nuclei of the seed of life. 
they can enter into a dead cell, delivering the energy and resurrecting that cell. As you can see it right here. Yeah. The housing of the seeds of life. There are hundreds of them in each seed of life. Seed of life developing the head of the Sumerians. Where the seed of life forms in sacred geometry. Here, from six black protein, the protein strands going up. Then, finally, completed in the form of sacred geometry that represents superlattice. All these pieces came out from beneath. The Mayan pyramids also has been matched. see some role footage here and the title is no comment.